Alexis Thompson from My Talk 1071 just spent a couple weeks traveling through Norway and Denmark. Wow. She was getting a first hand look at the true Scandinavian Christmas season experience. She even went dog sledding. How great. Well, she came back with all sorts of creative inspiration, and lucky us, she is here <laughs> to share some of her ideas. Hello, Alexis. <laughs> is this one of those oh my ideas? God, yes. Thanks for playing along. You guys look oh, fantastic. Alexis, That's these it. are so fun. I love this little Christmas hat idea. Yes, straight from Denmark. Yours is DIY from my friend Jill. Seriously? So, Did you yeah. make these in Denmark? No, no, I bought these ones. You yes. did? Uh-huh. Oh my Lots gosh. of good stuff. So what a fun <laughs> idea, though, to get all, have like a whole pile of all these cute little Christmas hats and then just bust them out on Christmas Eve or while you're opening <laughs> gifts or something like that. Yeah, I've got a whole collection. <laughs> look at you, Steve. Why do you look so shell shocked? I'm just not sure if I can get out of it. We <laughs> got it on. Oh, I like this. Okay, so these are oh. some ornaments here that we're going to start with that were really yes. inspired. And you know, everything Scandinavian is near and oh. dear to our hearts here in Minnesota, but yeah. also very hot when it comes to the trends. Yes. yes. So your crafting inspiration is just right on trend. Yes, it's so cool too. They really do a DIY Christmas. Yeah. So they make a lot of their ornaments, and uh, so I bought ornaments and then made my own inspired by them. How fun! So the first one is an angel, okay. and it's a really easy template that you need. It's just three inches wide, seven inches long, Look at this. and you're going to want two pieces. You're going to want a long page like this, okay, and then half. So no matter what size you want, just make sure that the smaller one, which is the wings, are half, or the arms, I should say, oh, are I half. Oh, I see. So you just, you take, yeah, so you could make a bigger, smaller, whatever. Yes. And you just get cute paper, whatever cute paper you have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, you got it. And Great. then just fan it back and forth, like this. Oh. Hey, like fan. you're making a fan in church. Like you're making a little fan no. in church. Yeah. yeah. Just like this, okay? Then you're going to fold it in half, and you're going to glue these two together, so it looks like this. Okay. Okay? All right, so this is... Not glued. That's the longer but piece. But fanned. Mm -hmm. This is then when you glue it together. You got it. Okay. Then you're going to take the smaller piece and then take, you can use string if you'd like, but I just use some garland. It's easier with wire and especially with kids. That's why this is so easy to make with them. Yeah. Then I just used um, a little bead with a little face on it, but you can use whatever you'd like. Oh. And you wrap it like this. Oh, you've got it step by step yes. here. Yes. Got little steps going. Yep. Oh, and then you make a little halo. Look how cute that looks. And then you can either make a ring or a hook, depending on how you want to attach it to your tree. Okay, it's so fun. these are really, really sweet, cute. and you can make a whole bunch. And they just look like just sweet and like light and yeah. unbreakable. And yes, you, care, you know. Yeah, you really just cute. glue those two pieces together and done. So these are the ones that I bought. They're mm. actually really delicate. They used tiny thread and needle and wow, a little pearl, and those are actually songs. Oh, you oh, know what? Yeah. Yeah. Craft oh. really sweet. She buys her own ornaments and then comes home and makes her own version. That's wow. Alexis. And I met the maker. Beautiful. She was really cool. Oh, how yeah. wonderful. She lived um, in, in, De in Denmark. That's so cool. Or okay, that's there. a great <laughs> idea. Okay, now yeah. you have another ornament idea. Okay, so we also went to Kronberg Castle in Denmark, which is really fabulous and so fun to tour. And I bought these sheets of paper. Um, they have all the different ornaments, so there's like little packages that you can make out of paper and put your little treats in it. These are little cones. Oh. So the way that these ones are, there's a little notch. And I thought, you know what, we can make this a little easier, especially for the kids. Okay. So here's what I did. Yeah. I took a 12 by 12 inch scrapbooking paper, which is a standard page that you can buy. Great. Okay. Cut it diagonally. Oh, yes. And then cut it again, so you have a quarter of it. Got there it. There you go. Whoops, like that, yep. kind of. Then you're just going to take the quarter and you're just going to bend it and wind it around oh, so you make yeah. a little cone shape. Right. Like an ice cream cone. And exactly. And what's really nice is that I just use some washi tape, which Great is idea. hot right now. You just put a little bit on the end and it will look like this. Okay. Okay. And then all I did was I took the tape, bent it down. I'm having yeah. such a hard time. Cut around it, bent the tape back in, and then oh, yeah. hole punched it on the side. Added, and then all you have to do is just add that through the other hole. Oh, I got it for you. Oh, okay. Yes. Complete it. And then twist it. <gasps> and what's yeah. so, so cute with their Christmas trees is they put little treats inside. This is adorable. They, they use live candles, too. But, yeah. But, you know, Whoa. we didn't quite adapt that. Here in America, we're not that we're dangerous. Doing. We're not yeah. on the edge. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And then you that just hang them on your tree. You put little treats inside. And... Voila. This is so cute. You could do these as like making your own little advent calendar. You could put the yeah. days and you could like nail them and make it so cute. Like once you kind of get this down, yeah, right. you could make mm -hmm. a, 
I just can't even. <laughs> I'm having trouble hearing you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally <laughs> Hello, is anybody out there? Oh, yes. Hey, I do want to make sure that we talk oh, about yes. this. Snow globe's a big hit yeah, at my house, uh, but we, we just Mars had another there. one that broke oh, yes. last week. So how, oh, okay. and then it's like watering goo and stuff like oh, that. You're doing a waterless These are waterless, globe. and they're so fun to make. So these are just little plastic wine oh, glasses yeah. that come actually in two parts. And so what you do is you take both of the parts. Oh. And what you're going to do, you glue what you want inside. Oh, you are brilliant. On the bottom. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And that fits on top. Yes. But, of course, before you seal it, you'll want to put some fake snow. Yeah. And it comes in a lot of different varieties. In this one, I put a little sequin in there. Yep, pop a little in there. That's oh about gosh. right. Oh, there you cool. go. And then I hot glued it, and it really doesn't matter because once it... See, isn't that cute? Isn't that fun? Oh, once it all comes down to the bottom, you can um, put a little extra little ornament at the bottom. Yes, Alexis. There That's you go. really cute. Boy, it's that easy too. So you can turn that into an ornament. You can drill a hole into the top. It can just be a little snow globe, whatever you'd like. Okay, those are so fun. Good you did job, a great Lex. job. Thanks, Thanks guys. for getting us in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Thank you. So be sure to listen to the Jason and Alexis show starting at 5:30 on My Talk 1071. I join in on the conversation every day at seven. You guys are going to yes. be at Rosedale Center for yes. the big Pay It Forward event oh, tomorrow. It's such a cool event. We're giving away a $300 gift card every hour, and then oh. that person can gift it to someone shopping in the mall. Isn't that cool? Wow. How that's cool. awesome. Yeah, so head out to Rosedale oh, to see everybody. Really cool. yes. Oh, thanks, yeah, Lex. Thanks, thanks, Lex. Okay, coming up next, our doctor is here with five pieces of advice for breast.